Nice to see you. Now, sp spell, spell your name for us. Let's just get this out of the way. Spell your name for us. K-R-Z-Y-Z-E-W-S-K-I. Shizhevsky. Okay. okay. Now, now, how, how come it, it's uh, how come there's no how come it's spelled with a K though? It's uh, it's Polish. Polish people, we do things in a different and, and way. And that's the, the <laughs> common pronunciation. A good way, not a not a bad way. Congratulations. Tell me about your team. Tell me about this team. Tell me a little bit of them. Well, they're uh, they're a great group of kids. They listen. Uh, they give their hearts to one another, and they're really, really good basketball players. At, at what point in your uh, college coaching career did uh, uh, ball players start having tattoos? Uh, did you see that so, coming? It, you know, it blindsided me a little <laughs> bit. Uh, not till for our guys, really in the last few years, and yeah. then they. But they, uh, I had a, one of the kids uh, before he got it called me. And said, you know, coach, and I, when they start saying that, you, you think they're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I said, so what, what, what did you do? He says, I'm getting a tattoo. Mm. And I said, well, where? Because <laughs> here, you know, like nose or what? And he says, no, my, my bro we're going to get a. So we'll just remember it's there for life. That's all <laughs> I want you to know. But it, uh, I'm not a big tattoo guy. Yeah. Now you don't, you wouldn't, I mean, why don't you get one for heaven's sakes? What do you, <laughs> what do you care? Get a tattoo for heaven's sakes. You know, when you have, uh, a profile, a nose and ears like mine, <laughs> tattoos. Uh, <laughs> you try to hide more when you're me than, than be out there. Now, this is your third uh, national championship team, and is there any point in uh, comparing or contrasting uh, these three clubs? Uh, if, if you want to, I mean. Sure, tell, uh, me, a little, tell me a little bit about the other ones. And too. I don't want to bring up anything that you and Paul will, you know, like kill me about. No, 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 no. Uh, this team is younger, uh, it was in more close games. Uh, it had a little bit more adversity to overcome than my, my two uh, nine and ten years ago. Mm -hmm. And I think because I'm older, I appreciate it a little bit more. And yeah. I appreciate kids listening to me more now that I'm in my 50s. When I was in my 30s and 40s, I felt that they should listen. Now when they listen, I'm surprised. I don't, you know, really just, <laughs> so it's kind of nice. What happened with... Uh, the Maryland game? What the hell happened there? Uh, we tried an interesting thing the night before the game to motivate them. We got this DVD of Lawrence of ah. Arabia. Ah. It was... It, it didn't work. They all came out with blue faces. It was, uh, it was crazy. Yeah, but in your case, blue faces would be just fine, wouldn't it? If there's dark blow. But, but, but uh, I mean, you were down like 22 points, and, and usually that's it. Adios. Well, the good thing, we were down by 22, and there were still 28 minutes to go mm -hmm. in the game. If we were down with two minutes to go, you're in trouble. Yeah, but still, it could be a little dispiriting, 22-point deficit. Well, we had a timeout, and uh, uh, it gave them a, a... It wasn't good to do X's and O's anymore, you know, how to... It's, uh, I just told You're them, on your own, boys. <laughs> pretty much, I told them that. I just told them, I said, you know, we basically uh, stink yeah. right now. And, uh, Who wants a tattoo? <laughs> uh, we're going to have to erase all. But I, I just told them, the, uh, uh, we're losing by 22. They were nervous. I said, uh, what, what could be worse? We could lose by 40. Yeah. You know, I mean, who cares? You lose. So just relax. And no more plays, just go out and... that loosen them up. Loosen them up. Yeah. Big coaching strategy. Do, 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 NBA teams, do NBA teams not run the way college teams run? It seems like you see a lot of coast-to-coast uh, uh, -coast in, in college basketball. You don't see so much in NBA. Am I wrong about that? Uh, I think you're right. I think they, they play 100 games, so they, That's the they're difference. only a, so many miles on the old legs. Yeah, and, so. uh, Okay. In the playoffs, you'll see more running, I think, in the NBA. Is coaching in college basketball more important, or is recruiting more important? Well, they're the same. Really, the yeah, same? Yeah, I mean, you can be a really good coach, but if you're uh, coaching the losers from Survivor, you're not going <laughs> to not going to win. Yeah. You know, you got to have really good players. Could you have taken uh, any one of the final four teams, well, I guess the other three, could you have taken any one of those three teams and won the championship this year? It was Michigan State, Maryland, Arizona. Could you have coached them to a championship? No, because we would have had... I don't think we could have beaten our team. I, our team was... Uh... <laughs> but you're not coaching your team. I guess, I guess what I mean by that is... Uh, 
my players took me on a good ride this year. Yeah. They were uh, Shane Battier, Jason Williams, Don Levy, those kids. Uh, they were, they were tremendous players. Every, every year, do you go through a period of uh, anxiety, of, of fear, when you think, oh, my God, oh, my God, a, a couple of them are going to leave and turn pro? And, and how, how do you keep that from happening? It's happened to you. How do you keep sure. it from happening? Is there anything you can do? Yeah, you can develop a relationship with them where, you know, it's good and they trust you and uh, they, they figure out that, you know, there's a value to staying in school. And, and, but they have to do what's in their best interest. But, you know, we try to get close enough to them that uh, they'll lean on us for advice and... I think our guys this year will stay for at least another year. Is, is there anything about the system that could be altered maybe to keep, keep that percentage a little lower? I mean, is, is it an all-time high, guys leaving before the year? Uh... Yeah, and it's getting, it's getting worse. Well, you'd have to get a bunch of people together to come up with a solution, and they don't get together. Like the, the NBA, the Players Union, the NCAA, if they all perceived it to be a problem, they would all get together. Yeah. So they haven't gotten together, so probably – at least one of those entities doesn't perceive it as being a problem. It seems like the NBA has taken some heat for this recently, and, and it seems to me like it's their responsibility, really, because if the opportunity were not there, kids wouldn't be jumping at it. So I think they're the ones that got to do something. They have well, to alter they, they, you know, I think Stern has, has tried to call uh, some meetings sometimes, but the NBA is one thing. It's the players' union, too. Mm -hmm. They... Uh, I think really the players' union runs the NBA more yeah. so than the NBA does. What about Bobby Knight? Were you happy to see Bobby going to Texas Tech? Well, Coach Knight was my college coach, mm -hmm. and uh, this was at Army. At Army, yeah. a long time ago, and uh, now I'm happy to see him back in coaching because he's a great coach and. It's unfortunate what happened at Indiana. but uh, in, in fortunate that uh, uh, his behavior was unfortunate or how it was handled was unfortunate? I think the fact that it got to that point. Yeah. Uh, I think people, if they have problems, should discuss them along the way and not, uh, not right at the end say, hey, we had all these problems. Yeah, so, it was a loaded gun there right at the end, wasn't I it? I think it was. Now, in, in coaching, have you ever uh, grabbed a guy? Have you ever shaken a guy? Have you ever had... Uh... Yeah, I just, I got, brings back old memories. Uh, uh, yeah, you have hands on. I mean, uh, you do a thing in the NCAA tournament. We did a thing just to, because you're close, you know, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's very personal. And before they went on the court, we have a young team. I just kind of, all the time just hit them, oop, you just hit them on the chest. Like, yeah. come on, yeah, man, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm with yeah. you more. But uh, actually grabbing or something, you don't. Yeah, you don't but I, I, I think, and of course I'm just shooting my mouth off here, I think in, in, <laughs> in a different context, this could be misinterpreted, right? Am I right about Absolutely. that Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and if somebody wants to make a thing about you or you're on a, on a roll right. as far as, hey, he did this and this. <laughs> he certainly was on a roll. He's nuts anyway. I mean, there's no getting around <laughs> it. He's a, a great coach may be a genius, but he's wacky. You just can't dispute that. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think he's nuts. I think he's brilliant. And, uh, uh, but I think at some t at times people can portray us all being nuts. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like they could take, well, I don't want to, they could take excerpts of your show. And <laughs> <laughs> your show. But in, like in your case, in your case, if someone would say he's nuts, that would be like a good thing, right? Yes, I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would You'd be good for nuts, me. You'd take nuts, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you, you'll never coach in the NBA, will you? No. No interest whatsoever? None whatsoever. People are always calling you, aren't they? Well, they call. N name the last three teams no, that I, I, I No, 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 the, the, the last... <laughs> the last, just the last two. The, uh, no. Hey, that Dunleavy story, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a... Now, did you feel pressure uh, coaching a kid whose father is an NBA coach? No, in fact, it's the best because he, he understands that the only way... It, for his, his, young, his son to get better mm -hmm. is to just let me coach him, and he has confidence in me, and not one thing. How know. many times have the Nets called you? <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, we check. The, uh, I don't want to be called. You don't need it. How many of these? If you, if you never win another championship, does it bother you? No. Uh, I love working with kids. I love Duke. I love college basketball. I make enough money. I could make a little bit more. Of course you could. Yeah, but yeah. The, I'm kind of messing myself over here. But uh, uh, it, if you love what you do, you know, I mean, that, that's priceless. Well, it's, uh, it's, it was a, a huge success for, for you, uh, for the team, for the tournament, and for the game of college basketball to see you guys. Well, thank you. Nice going. All right. Good to have you here. Coach K, ladies and gentlemen.